Today I'm going to use Photoshop to make letters that look like waffles. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new document for myself and I'm going to choose a size that's 900 pixels by 500 pixels. I'm going to name my document waffles and my name and then click OK which gives me a brand new document. I've got stuff to work in in layer one. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put in a background gradient by using my gradient tool, which you'll find under paint bucket or under gradient tool. Uh, I've got a bunch of different choices for gradients that I can select. I can also add more gradients in here if I want to color harmonies, metals, um, metals. Um, neutral density noise samples, pastels. I think I chose one from pastels the last time I did this. Um, don't know what noise samples is. I'm just going to append that and see what it puts in there and see if there's anything in there that looks like something I'd want to use. No. So I'm going to choose one of my other ones and this is the gradient that I'm going to choose. Once I do that, as long as I have my gradient tool selected, I can just click and drag and fill my background with a gradient. Next I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm going to type my name. I've chosen a font that looks uh, kind of um, big and chunky like it would be good for waffles. I used to have a font that looked just like waffles like somebody cut waffles in half and I don't know what happened to that but I'm gonna have to go look for that but this one will work for now so I'm going to put that in place once I click over here it'll change my type layer to um, my name uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just really start applying layer effects actually let me go back in there while I'm still on my text tool and make sure this whole thing is centered because I want it centered in my page and I also want to move it down just a wee bit. Okay, so I'm going to double click my layer to open up my layer styles panel and uh, some of the things I am going to do to this, uh, one thing is bevel and emboss because I want to make it look like my letters are dimensional. Um, I'm going to choose an inner bevel. I'm going to choose technique smooth. I could also chisel soft. Mm, that might work for this. Uh, I'm going to bump up the size just a wee bit. Uh, as far as shading goes, I can change my gloss contour to... Nah, we'll leave gloss contour the way it is. I'm going to make sure global light is unchecked. Uh, I'm going to keep the highlight mode the way it is normal at about 50%. I can always change that. Um, and I'm going to keep the shadow mode also about 50% and leave everything else the way it is. Maybe I will not soften this so much. Soften this set to one pixel. Yeah, don't want it too soft. Knock that way down. Um, so that's at zero. I can also, you know, if I wanted to change the size of it, I don't, I want to leave the size around between five and seven, depending on the font that you choose. So once I've got all that in place, and again, I can always go back into it. It'll show me a little preview here of what the bevel will look like. I can always go back into it and change it if I want to. So next I'm going to choose contour. And for contour, I'm going to choose, um, I think, I've got it set to rounded steps, but there might be other choices that are better. I'm probably going to wind up going with rounded steps. Okay, fine. Let's leave it rounded steps. I can also play with the range. And again, this will vary depending on what font I choose. Next is texture. Um, I've already played with this, so I've got mine set to waffles. Uh, if you don't see it in your textures, you can always add to the textures. You will find it under patterns if you don't see it in this little list here. So I've uh, chosen my waffle pattern. I can adjust the scale 
I'm going to leave it at about 90. I can also adjust the depth. I'm going to change it to plus 50. I think that's going to work. I'm not going to put a stroke on this layer. Uh, I am going to put an inner shadow. That will work. And you know, you can always play with it and see the difference. Uh, darken, I can choose the color I want to put in here, uh, make it look more like a waffle. If I choose to, I can adjust the choke slightly. Not going to make a difference. Um, adjust the distance. I'm probably going to set distance at about eight or nine. Uh, and the same thing for five. Eight should do it. Size. Um, eight should do it for size. Next thing I am going to do, oh, and if I do want to put a stroke on there, that's what a stroke would do. That's why I'm not going to do it. Uh, sometimes I will also add an inner glow. I've added a darker inner glow here. Uh, I have different choices of things that will make this look more believable as waffles. Um, darken was what I chose. I can also choose normal, which is just about as good as darken. I don't want any noise in there. I want the opacity way up to 100%. I can play with the choke and adjust the size. Yeah, let's leave that down there at 5. Okay, so choke will set to 10. And again, I mean, I can always go back into uh, bevel and emboss and increase the depth of the bevel, which as I play with the slider, you can see what that does. So I'm going to leave that at about 500. If I change the size, it will change the look of things. So I'm going to leave those settings as they are for now. And the only other thing I'm going to add is a drop shadow. I'm going to change the distance to 10, uh, change the size to 10, and leave the spread at 5. And not really change much of anything else because these are looking like waffles. So if I want to set this style because I think I'm going to apply it to something else that I'm going to put into my document next, I would click New Style and call this, I have a bunch of waffle styles, so I'm just going to call this Waffles 2 and I'm going to click OK and click OK on the Layer Style panel. Next, what I think I want to do is, I love waffles. Well, actually, first, let's play with the text. I'm going to warp the text because warp text is much more exciting than plain boring text. So I can choose um, either arch or arc. Probably arc. Um, I can also adjust the distance of the arc. Um, could make it vertical if I want. I don't want. Definitely don't want it vertical. But uh, I'm going to set the bend to. Uh, I knocked it down to 26. That's fine. I'm not going to touch horizontal distortion or vertical distortion. I'm going to leave them the way they are because I think that's that's sort of arced nicely and it looks just fine to me. So I'm going to click OK once I do that. And then I'm going to use my um, shape tool, custom shape down here. I want to put a heart in here because I do love waffles. I said that before. So in my custom shapes panel, I've got a bunch of default choices in there. Like the texture uh, panel, the different textures are in there. I can always add more shapes or I can choose. I've already got a heart in here so I can choose that. So the heart is the shape I'm going to choose. I'm going to make sure that um, my little pull down menu here in the path bar is set to shape rather than path or pixels and that will allow me to create a shape that is already um, well the color that I used for waffle 
So I'm going to hold down shift to constrain proportions and I'm going to draw myself a heart. So now I've got a heart and it's the waffle color, but it doesn't look like the letters. How do I get that to change? I had set a style for waffles in my styles panel, which you can find by going to window menu and making sure styles is checked and that'll appear over here. So now I've got this shape. I want to make it look like a waffle. All I have to do is apply my saved waffle style. And that's how you make waffles in Photoshop.